Afternoon, Mr. Crawford. Thank Good you for meeting with me. Thank uh, you for having me. All right, so uh, let's talk about the Youngstown Patricians. Uh, my name is Bill Crawford. I'm a historian for St. Patrick's Church. The Youngstown Patricians formed in January 29th was their first meeting in 1912. They were a club that was basically for the moral and social and physical uh, well-being of its members. And uh, they were under the uh, direction of our pastor, Father Martin, and that uh, it was not only a club, it was to do a lot of social events. They had parties, they had picnics to help fund the church and raise money and make it a cohesive group. Uh, the first meeting actually drew like over 300 men. If you look when the football team started, they came from uh, maybe a radius of 20 or 25 miles, um, you know, in reading about uh, how they organized, and that was one of the things that they mentioned. But it was basically a lot from the South Side. Uh, they had a real good relationship uh, because this was a new territory, new church, you know, and uh, it used to be before uh, our church was opened, it, they opened the Market Street Bridge in 1899, which then, instead of all of our parishioners that were going uh, over to St. Columbus, you know, now they had their own parish. And um, they all worked together as like a unit. It was amazing if you just read about it. I think uh, their impact on history, particularly in this area, was, uh, was important to remember because they started out as a, as a parish and with the organization of the club. There was all kind of different organizations uh, throughout the church, uh, women's auxiliary and altar guild and everything. But I think it should be remembered for just a parish coming together, working as one, and basically it. Well, the parish started a football team in 1914. Um, they got together with basically 18 players and they played locally. They played like Akron, um, maybe Ellsworth, uh, different teams. They had a eight game schedule. They won seven, lost one to Salem. Um, then Father and the organization decided, let's get into more football and better programs uh, in different cal caliber of teams which they started the next year in 1915. And uh, I think that uh, the idea with them was to, just to compete. They give the parishioners that wanted to um, be affiliated with sports, you know, an opportunity to play. You would play, they would, well, we played all our games in right field and they would charge fans like to go in 10 cents, 25, but they increased it as the years went by. And uh, they would pay the players so much money to play. But you can switch next week, play another team. There was no contracts back then. So you can play with other teams. And this is where we did so good in that championship in uh, 1915. Then the next year in 1916 started off great but then they had a tougher schedule. And then, boom, their world championship, so to speak, went out the window. 1917, uh, they finished seven and four, like in 16. 17, they started, ah, that's where the great Jim Thorpe played for the Canton Bulldogs. And they came down and, you know, they beat uh, Youngstown. They, were, they said there were 7,000 people, you know, to watch the game, three nothing. We missed three field goals, of course, in the game, and but uh, 
And then it ended up where they beat us later in the year. Maslin beat us, so they were so-so. And then in 19, that was 17 and 18, no, no football, World War I. And then in 19, we started up again a couple of games, and they stopped. Then they had some games in, well, the NFL then started in 1920. Mm -hmm. And uh, supposedly we were offered a contract to go to be an NFL team in 1922. But everything fell through. They never could put anything together to really produce a team. But, uh, you know, you probably more than you wanted to know. <laughs>